As we've been telling you, February is Heart American Heart Month, rather. And all month long, we're sharing incredible stories of survival thanks to the right education about CPR and AED. Tonight, a Streetsboro firefighter says he's alive today because of his brothers at the fire station. Here's our Lindsay Buckingham. Being a firefighter means you're ready to go at all times. You don't get to stop when you're tired. You stop when the job gets done, no matter who it is you're trying to save. Well, you never think of it, it's going to be your family or someone you work with. Yet that's exactly what happened to this brotherhood here at Streetsboro Fire Department in early January. When the tables turned on 31-year veteran Chris Fredmonski during a training class at the firehouse. I can remember coming into work that morning, uh, doing our truck checks and what we had to do in the morning. Probably the last thing I remember is sitting down. You heard the chair just fly out, and here you fell, fell on the floor, you know. Chris was in full cardiac arrest. His brothers, including Tyler Carlton, knew just what to do. Get him on the monitor. It shows V-fib, which is a shock rhythm. So I put the patches on and we shock him. And that's when we start CPR again. I mean, there's like five of us in the back of the squad and we were rotating back and forth. Then somebody said, Freddie, Freddie, you're okay, we've got you. Chris's next memory was waking up in the ICU. I'd heard that Kent Fire and Ravenna Fire uh, sent uh, squads here to cover because my whole shift was out. Um, they came to see you. <clears throat> Everybody came to see me in the hospital. And one of the guys <clears throat> was one of the ones that performed CPR on me. And uh, he apologized because he felt when my ribs were breaking. <clears throat> and I, I told him, I go, I go, brother, you can do break every rib I have as long as the outcome's the same any time. For reasons bigger than we'll ever know, Chris went down that day in the very place where CPR and AED training is a way of life. Our line of work, uh, this is not a normal outcome. You know, um, typically we get there several minutes after the event happened, and if nobody's doing CPR or getting the AED or anything on them, then um, our chances of getting them back are very slim. While Chris's fire duties may not look the same in the future, he's not ready to say goodbye to the only career he's ever known. It would be very difficult because since I was 18, this is where I've been. In a brotherhood of grit, determination, and unwavering loyalty. It's a huge, huge, huge part of my life. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News. Chris tells us he's doing great. He's been fitted with a pacemaker and a defibrillator. He also wants to remind you to call your local fire department and ask about CPR or AED training. Learning it could double or triple someone's chance to live. Wow, he's doing great, though. That's fantastic. That is the bottom line. That's what we like to hear. Excellent, certainly.